What is up? Fellas, JPS delivers here, uh, here with more BJ, uh, Simmons, and, uh, hey, I mean, who's ever gonna complain about more BJs in the world? So, uh, nice, uh, well, not really a nice start to this, you know, shit. I mean, let's be honest, a loss right there to, uh, Northern Illinois. Now we're playing the Syracuse team. Syracuse has a really good, um, you know, a really good, uh, safety right there, but it's Syracuse, man. Around this time, people were talking, you know, people were talking about Syracuse, I mean, not, not necessarily all too much now, but, you know, a couple years removed from Carmelo and them winning the, uh, national title at, at Cuse. This is fucking Syracuse for fucking, uh, for football, okay? Donovan McNabb's gone. Marvin Harrison is gone. It's, it's the orange and it's time to make some juice. Alright? It's time to start with the most important meal of day and that's breakfast. And, uh, well, we didn't have a good start of the day if you want to refer to this whole entire di uh, camp as legend as a, uh, as a breakfast because uh, a horrible, horrible start. Mr. B.J. Simmons got flipped over like a 69 and uh, got injured in this first game. But, hey, I was obviously going to be the favorite at home back in Iowa shitty walk. Um, and, and, and it's time, it's really time to try to showcase what he can do. This is going to, you know, non-conference games. Next game, next week is going to be a... a it's going to be an in-state rivalry against Iowa State. And then and look at how fucking jacked up this fucking team is. Look at that fucking... There's nothing getting on this fucking dude, but I can tell you what. That fucking wide receiver, he might have only gotten two yards, but that was that was prelude and he ain't fucking around. Syracuse team, not a great start to this game whatsoever. Even though this halfback 21 just says, hey, I got a negative one yard, but I ain't fucking around either. Neither is wide receiver number 80. As the first pass of the day by B.J. Simmons is going to go all the way to the house as the Iowa Cockeye takes flight and just spams it all over this Syracuse team, especially the secondary right there, but a nice hit. But however, though, it's after a little bit of damage is done off of a nice six-yard run. First down, catch by wide receiver 12. I'm telling you, these dudes weren't... These, these dudes were not fucking around. And the funny thing is, is that this impact player... Uh, again, Jesus, the timing on that. If I would have timed that right, should have been an interception. But hey, 7-0 starting this game off pretty well on defense. Giving up a couple first down plays. But there you go. Big hit. Huge hit. But it's going to be fourth down. But hey, again, Syracuse came to play. They're like, no, fuck you, bitch. It has nothing to do with the fact that our kicker can't kick. We're going on fourth down because we've got the balls to, baby. Nice little run there by a halfback number 21. Incomplete pass, though. It's going to be Syracuse again. But funny thing is with Syracuse is that um, their third their third best rated uh, running back is their impact player. I just don't get it. But, hey, you know, as I'm over here saying this, it kind of, uh, kind of adds on to what I'm saying considering uh, the dude just fumbled it. And here we go. We have a sick halfback of our own. This, I mean, this is just this is impact player type shit. That's what you do when you're an impact player is run like that. And, oh, impressive play, impressive awareness by the defense on that one. But nice two broken tackles, just weak tackles right there. Would have been a first down, actually, if he had kept the ball. But, hey, it is what it is. And the sack is unfortunately going to put it a tad bit too far for a kicker's reach. And bam, wonderful catch by the tight end for a first down by Syracuse. And this running back uh, got bottled up right there. But, and, I mean, this Syracuse team, they weren't fucking around, Jack. And there you go, nice first down. This quarterback started off real hot. Just like Hansel, and that's another first down. Another first down. Another one. Another one. These tight ends were everywhere. It seemed like Missouri's tight ends. Those two dudes, I mean, it was like Hoffman or something. Back when Chase, uh, Chase Chunk Daniel was uh, passing balls and slinging it around at Mizzou. And then here we go. Impact play. I love the camera view. The right outside linebacker with a nice interception. A needed interception right here. And here we go. B.J. Simmons again. Nice play. Nice catch. First down. I believe we're coming towards the end of the... Uh, what was it? First or second? No. This is the first half. But there we go. Beautiful broken tackle by one of our... Oh. 
Jeez, and he was flashing. BJ was flashing on that one. But here we go. Our running back wasn't fucking around all fucking game, but unfortunately. So, it's going to be bottled up again. And here we go. Pass back out. I, what I, I mean, come on. You just had yourself an ADR play where you're breaking tackles out of wide receiver. If you're going to be making those type of plays, and it's harder for a wide receiver to be breaking tackles, shouldn't you be fucking catching the ball? Like, I felt like there's a couple drop balls. Ugh, it was just a pain in the ass, but they get the first down right there. And halfback 22. He had to do, I mean, he had to do it in a lot of attempts, but he did have attempts like this. And that's going to be a touchdown by Syracuse, and the fans are going to shut up just a tad bit. And I can tell you what, what kind of fuckery would be going on. Look at that. Blocked field goal attempt. Oh, yeah, just gets recovered, you know, by the fucking tight end. He happened to know it was coming for him. But I can tell you what, he's coming for him. Beautiful blocking on the outside. And he's at the 30, the 20, the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Jukes his way in. Halfback 21. Was not fucking around, Joe Rogan. Beautiful play on that one. But unfortunately, no. Ugh. I, again, it's just like I was talking about in the Madden one. That should have been a pick right there. He already had a pick six this season in the last game. But speaking of picks, after the punt, easily, easily just uh, dealt with by that Syracuse defense. And even though it is 13 to 8, you know, that, that two point conversion is definitely going to make things uh, testy, the failed one. Because uh, now the Syracuse team's marching down the field. Less than 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. And then, bam, fans go silent again. But forcing enough, it's setting up maybe a field goal to uh, win this game. Beautiful move by Hatback 21. But he is going to be bottled up. I felt like he was bottled up for the most part anyways. But here we go. Wide receiver, 88 on the outside. Beautiful user catch. And damn, just, just getting fucked up right there. And again, I just, I'm trying to like set up a position pass for that, but whatever it is, what it is, forcing enough, we are within range, but my God, it's like the uprights weren't within range right there, but forcing enough, getting it in. Yeah, he's fucking happy. We're thrilled. BJ is thrilled up 16 to 14. And then halfback 22 just continues fucking shit up. For us. Hey, the stadium's loud, but it's sort of a fake bit of any bit of uh, influence on this game because the Syracuse team was definitely dangerous on this offensive end. Uh, their defense was, you know, for the most part, their defense played decently well. But this offense, I mean, halfback 22 was having an amazing game. I felt like he had the best game out of everybody. And, uh, well, I don't know why it was showing uh, the players right there. A little bit of technical difficulties. But we're continuing through. I can tell you what, palms are definitely sweaty. <laughs> There's a, but I, I, I mean, hopefully we don't have vomit on my shirt already, because uh, it looked like a touchdown to take this Syracuse team up ahead with just a minute and a half to go. But forcing enough, holding call comes in and saves our asses. But hey, that's just not the end of this Syracuse team. As a beautiful run by Hatback 22, and he's gonna put it in the end zone as the whole city of Iowa, City Walk, what all 500 people of them, I'm just kidding, it's a bigger city than that, but here we go, when needed right here, wide receiver 88 fucks up, and it's going to be incomplete, I mean, what a terrible way, look at this, drop passes, this team's melting down in front of us, oh my god, another incomplete pass, but hey, here's a chance right here, oh no, 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 Oh, holy shit. Imagine that, man. Just the wide receiver directing. But imagine this, too. Imagine a wide receiver coming in, getting his first catch, and BJ tying the game up. Thank God. My word. Getting that extra point to go up by a point. They just need a field goal to win this one out of bounds. That could have changed things if that ball... Would have been in bounds for this. And then here we go. Interception on the outside. And to end the game. To make it way, way less of a competition than it actually was. It was totally competitive. Surprised that this Syracuse team came in there like that. But hey, this Iowa team really needs to get their shit straight. Is I mean, is Pete, Peter French going to have to get fucking uh, can't, or Lawrence or something. Whatever the hell his name is. 
one of the coaches that get overpaid in college football in the past couple of years. But all it is is that this Iowa team needs to get their shit straight. They totally need to get their shit straight. And it starts with, uh, you know, BJ and company. BJ needs to throw the ball a little bit better. But, hey, one and one, get the first win of BJ Simmons's career. Simmons's summon, need to summon a demon to get this man into the Heisman talk in a couple of years. He's going to definitely need it. But there you go. Jeez, it looked like 22 was hanging himself up there. Jesus Christ. The fuck? Did y'all see that? Dude jumped up in midair. Go back. Go back, like to like the 10, like 15, 10, 20 mark. Looked like 22 just jumped midway through the fucking air. That was really strange. Look at individual stats. 208 yards, two touchdowns. Did have that interception. Sacked twice. Hatback 21. Bottled up a decent amount. But hey, 95 yards and a touchdown. I'll take that, especially 30 yards after first hit. Get that 69-yard touchdown pass to start the game. What a beautiful way to start things off 69 yards for a touchdown pass for bj simmons can't get any better than that it really can't and nicely done two sacks right there by syracuse's defensive lineman but i'm looking forward to it next week is going to be iowa state later fellas and see you next video